Okay, well, here we are, uh, getting ready to lay up uh, the first uh, cowl. Uh, I'm going to be using uh, West Systems uh, Epoxy, 105 Epoxy and 206 Slow Harder. One thing I like about these is a little pump shed on them. Gives you, you know, there's no guessing on measuring this prime here. So I'm going to give it uh, three pumps of hardener and three pumps of epoxy. And that way I've got the correct mixture. There's no guesswork, no having to measure or do anything like that. I don't usually like to mix up more than three or four pumps at a time because it's, the more you mix up in, in a bowl, the faster it sets up. So we'll mix this up. Make sure you get that good mix so you get a nice smooth color. There's a little color difference between the two so you can tell when you got a good mixture because it all blends in together. You don't have any streaks of color in there at all. Okay. Okay, we got that mixed up. This bird's eye view gives us a good shot of what we're doing here. Now I noticed I uh, made some changes on my pieces after playing with them. I found out I need to really slice down to a smaller edge because this cowl papers in pretty dramatically at the end. So we'll see how these pieces work out that I've got trimmed off. Okay, first thing we're going to do, lay down a little layer of resin in here. It's always good to get resin down under your cloth because it's hard to work the resin up through the cloth and get, get good coverage. So, uh, you always want to make sure you get a good base of resin for the cloth to stick to before you start laying out. shouldn't take too long to lay out because it's not all that big of a mold. Okay. First thing I've got is a little circle here. The nose. Put that down there. You always get a good buildup of resin in the bottom of this mold because you know it's it flows down there so around these corners, you can see in there, we'll get a good buildup of uh, resin in there as we progress on here. Okay, first strip, start this down here about in the center, with our brush, just work it, smooth out all the wrinkles, work it up. Make sure we get a good saturation. Cloth gets wetted out nice. Okay. One. Second piece. No big secrets from here on, you just one piece at a time. I've never been any good at laying on bigger pieces in here and cutting it out, so I just go with these strips. Seems to work out well for me.
Keep dabbing it on there. Make sure you get good full wetness. It's a lot easier if your mold has got a darker color to it, like black. Then you can really see how well it's wetting out. But I haven't been able to find any any product that I can put to the ultra cow that will color it without affecting the cure time too dramatically. So just be careful, make sure we see that we've got everything that there's no air bubbles trapped in there. tell where your line starts here because you can uh, see where your fiberglass overlaps so that's helpful. Starting to look like a cow. <laughs> you can see it doesn't take very long to lay up this first coat. First layer, rather, I guess I should say. Just want to make sure you get a good quarter to three eighths of an inch overlap between the pieces. Just a little bit more resin. There's always that tendency to get down to the bottom of the pot here and make it stretch. But you don't want to do that. You don't want to short yourself on, on what you're doing and get a bad layup. So you may have to mix up a little bit more. Next time, uh, we'll know that I'm going to probably do, what did I do, three pumps? I might do three and a half. Or, uh, yeah, if you want to do half pumps, what I do, you can see it. I got little marks here on there with a magic marker, half, quarter, or three quarters, so I can actually do a half a pump or a half a pump on each one. And uh, I don't have to do a full pump every time, gives you the same ratio. So, okay, one more piece here. Sometimes it's hard to see where your well there it is where the line is on the previous piece once it gets wetted out. The secret though is 
is laying that resin down first because if you put your cloth in there and then you try to work the resin through it, the cloth moves all over the place and uh, makes it a lot more difficult. Well, naturally, I've got enough, quite enough resin, so we'll do a, another half pump each. Here. Now, even though you've got these pumps, one thing I, another thing I like about West Systems is it's not super critical on the mix ratio. You haven't got a little bit too much hardener or a little bit too much resin. It doesn't ever seem to make any difference. I've never had a problem with it not curing or curing out too fast because I got my mix wrong. That's when I do these half pumps like this. I usually try to like to mix I usually watch the stopwatch. Anytime I'm mixing epoxy or resin, I like to give a good full 30 seconds mix to something this size. Just to, to be sure, you're better off to be too mixed than not mixed enough. Okay. Okay, one more piece here. Now you can see it, how it's wetting out in there. Maybe you can see it, I don't know. This camera doesn't adjust to the bright light reflection that this mold will give you, so. Just dab this on here. This should be our last piece. No, it is our last piece. No should be about it. Okay. Check to make sure everything is wetted out. Got no air bubbles in there. Piece down there. Well, there may be a better technique for doing this. I don't know. It's always the way I've done it. And I've never seen anybody lay up a mold, so um, hopefully that's what this video will do is show people how it's done and then uh, maybe somebody if they have a better way of doing it can do a video and show us another method. We're always ready to learn something. Okay, that pretty much looks like the first layer is on. We'll clean up. Now I'm, I don't know why, I'm a miser on these brushes. <laughs> you know, they're not very expensive, but I take my brush, and this is the same brush that I have used on the entire, all the layups on the Starship so far. I don't, I, you know, I cut it off. All I got is a little acetone in here. Just sit it in here like this. Clean it out. A little extra in there. That brush will sit in there. I, I cut them off. So it'll fit in here. I can put the top back on. This is a yogurt container. That'll stay completely sealed. That brush will stay soft forever, practically. So I just use the same brush over and over again. I know it's silly, but that's just one of my little idiosyncrasies. So that's uh, it for now. We'll let this sit up and um, set my timer. Okay, I've got it set for about two hours. We'll let this set up for a couple hours so it gets nice and tacky and to where it gets set up enough that we can come in here with a sharp exacto knife and trim this excess off around. We want to do that between coats because when you get this, if you don't trim it off, when you get it up, build up and cure that, it's really hard to get to cut that off without uh, uh, using something drastic. So 
Uh, we'll trim that off and lay up the next layer. And uh, so we'll see you uh, here probably in about two and a half hours.